Hey church, my name is Gabs and I'm from Glasgow campus. Today I'm reading Psalm 75. It starts off in verse 1 by saying, God, we thank you. We thank you because you are near and tell about the miracles you do. In this lockdown season, there have been moments where I have found it hard to thank God for things. When you live in a family with six people, things can be crazy and mental. But amongst that, there is God. So that technically adds a seventh person. But God is always near us. And that's one thing we can be thanking him for today. Because he's always by our side, no matter the circumstance, no matter what is going on. And with God in the picture, he does miracles. Like, the first miracle he did was when he turned water into wine. And it doesn't end there. We've seen miracles after, we've seen miracle after miracle in this season. And I would love to encourage all of us with those miracles and say, don't stop believing, but don't forget about the past. So then moving on to verse nine, it says, I will tell about this forever. I will sing praise to the God of Jacob. This time is going to be told forever, not going to be forgotten. I will sing praise to the God of Jacob. In other words, I will worship God. I love worshiping God and it's been a huge part of my story. One way in which I worship God is I will simply stick a song on and pull my heart out to him that way. But there will be some days where I go for a run and I connect in with him during that. But my sister Phoebe is a very creative person, so she loves to dance, she loves to sing, and she loves to write her own songs. And that, those are multiple ways in which she connects in with God. So if you're more of a creative person, why don't you try doing something similar to that? Or, I don't know, it might be writing a poem, it might be painting, it might be drawing. I don't know what it is, but do something that helps you connect with God on a personal level. The psalm finishes up at the end of verse 10 by saying, the power of the good people will grow. That's the, like an amazing verse because it's talking about the power that lives within inside of us, which is the Holy Spirit. And with the Holy Spirit, we have the fruit of the Spirit. And so in this season, I've been challenged and I felt real, really challenged that to come out of lockdown with a bigger power and more power than I've had. That is power in the Holy Spirit and the fruit of the Spirit. So to how I, what, what has helped me or what helps me um, grow in the Holy Spirit and grow in the fruit of the Spirit is look at areas in my life where I'm lacking some of them. I write them down and I write down things which I can help, which help them. Then I take action. And it has been really helpful. And so I encourage you to find a way that helps you grow in the Holy Spirit and the fruit of the Spirit. So I just want to finish up now by praying. But before I do that, I encourage you, go read the rest of Psalm 75 and go read Psalm 76 for yourself. Father, I thank you that we have been on this journey of these Psalms. And I thank you that we get to continue doing them. And I thank you for the power of the Holy Spirit and I pray that we'll be able to grow in that power. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in, and don't forget to tune in tomorrow as well.